Good day, mothers. Today is Mother's Day. We as Mrs. So would like to wish all mothers a happy and a blessed Mother's Day. Remember that you are wonderfully and you are fearfully made and that God loves you unconditionally. We would like to wish you a wonderful day. Stay blessed and stay sweet and enjoy this wonderful day and all the blessings and all the spoils. Enjoy. Love you all. A thank you. Good morning, everyone. Today is the third Sunday after Easter and it is also Jubilate. Shout with joy to God, all the earth, Psalm 66 verse 1. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come, Second Corinthians 5 verse 17. Sunday the 8th of May. I will lead the blind by the road they do not know, by paths they have not known, I will guide them. Isaiah 42 verse 16 God called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 May we please bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, although we were born into iniquity, we became by faith this day like you. With a renewed mind, I declare I am born of and into your righteousness to serve you. Amen. Good day, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, and a special greeting to all our mothers on this amazing day. Um, today we'll be speaking about the relationship between God, mothers, and children. When one looks at why God created women, we look in the Bible verse of Genesis 2, Thus, where it is shown that the main purpose of the creation of woman was for Adam to have a companion. And as we dig deeper into the name given to Adam's companion, the name Eve in the Hebrew language means life. Thus, God created woman to give Adam life. The story continues and we know that their children and unto the children, unto the unto all parents, God gave an instruction. And that instruction is given to us in Proverbs twenty two, verses six, where it commands where with this commandment one sees a promise from God, a promise that if the parents truly and with, and with the good heart Discipline their children. Their children shall not depart from their teachings. And in Deuteronomy 5 verse 16, a commandment is then given to the child, 
And here we also see a promise from God to us young people that if we honor our parents, we shall live a long and fruitful life. In all three of these verses, we see that the Lord is giving directions, directions to a long, fruitful life. And in these scenarios, mothers are one of the stepping stones of how we can get life. Our mothers are truly our first stepping stones to Christ, just like we see in, our, in their daily workings by which we see them prepare our day-to-day -day lives and organize for us to have a nice um, day by preparing everything, preparing our lunches and preparing our meals as we are ready to tackle the day. As the youth of the Moravian Church, I would like to come to you as our parents, as our mothers, to say thank you. Thank you for being the rock that we find ourselves day to day coming to cry at. Thank you for being the mothers who juggle and who juggle the pains of our lives, who juggles the struggles of our lives, and who day by day sacrifice so that we may have a better life. We ask, I come to you as our parents, to ask that you do not now drop the balls that you've been juggling. We know that we, have, we are not a, a youth that is easy to manage, but we ask that you still go to God as you've been doing and find strength to continue to discipline, to continue to give life to the children of South Africa as a whole. And in closing, I would like to also remind my fellow brothers and sisters of Proverbs 1 verses 8 to 9. And let this verse bring us closer to truly and wholeheartedly honor our parents and love them. Let us now, through this verse, see that our parents do a great deal for us and in their teachings we have a fruitful life. And in their teachings, the people will now also see us as, as people who have true beauty, beauty of being loved by the Lord. And as we live in such a rich, cultured country, let us also remember that a child's parents does not end with the biological parents only. A child is birthed by a mother and father, but raised by a community. So let us, in the true Moravian spirit, go out and go back to doing missionary work and go out and help those who are in need of our help. I would like to take this time to say thank you to our mothers and all the women in our beautiful country and world for being our Eves, for being the lives given to us by God. Stay strong, my fellow women in Christ, my fellow sisters in Christ, my fellow mothers in Christ. I thank you. Amen. We now bow our heads for the prayer. God, I come before you this morning and I want to say thank you. I want to give you praise, especially for our moms. God, this morning, quite a few of us do not get to experience the joy of saying Happy Mother's Day, for giving our moms a hug or a simple gift, a token of our appreciation. God, I pray over those hearts. I pray that when they think of their moms, it still goes up directly to them in heaven. God, I pray for those that are still here with us. God, as kids, I pray for insight. I pray for wisdom. I pray for understanding, especially on the days we do not understand mother's wishes. God, I pray that you guide us all, both mother and child, lead us to you and only to you. 
pray this over in your glorious name. Amen.